Good evening, everybody. I'm uh, Senator Tom Carper, and I'm sorry that I can't uh, be with you today at uh, Clayton House, one of my favorite places. I remember going there as a brand new uh, MBA student many years ago and hearing Peter Dino, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, uh, testify or speak to, to all of us. It was quite a memorable day, and I hope this evening will be memorable for all of, of you. I'm in uh, Washington today. We're back in session right after the election, and so I'm doing my day job. Sometimes it gets in the way, if you know what I mean, but I'm happy to do it. As uh, many of you know, I have, uh, some, I should say some of you know, I've been laser focused on raising student achievement in the science, technology, engineering, and math uh, suite. And since my days as uh, Delaware's governor about 40 years ago, no, not that long ago. But uh, these skills are in high demand today. I saw some place where three out of four jobs uh, created in the next 10 years will be focused on people who have those kinds of skills, science, uh, technology, engineering, and math. So it's imperative that we ensure that our workforce tomorrow is ready and able to fill those jobs. And of course, who better uh, to fill them than the next generation of Delaware students? And that's where all of you come in. Tonight, we honor a few of those who've gone above and beyond it when it comes to getting our students involved in STEM education. I just want to say congratulations to all of our award winners. Thank you to everyone assembled here uh, this evening for your focus on STEM in our schools. When Congress uh, replaced No Child Left Behind with the uh, new law called Every Student Succeeds Act, Last year, it allowed states to set rigorous academic uh, standards across the board, something we did when I was governor back in the 90s. The bill uh, also eliminated some of the overly prescriptive and punitive aspects of No Child Left Behind. You may know empowering parents and teachers on the local level to develop their own plans to raise student achievement. I was proud to work on this bill. It reflects my belief that all students, no matter what their zip code, their race, or their economic status, should have access to good education. Everybody can learn. Uh, one that not only prepares them to achieve uh, success in the classroom, but also helps them go on to meaningful careers. Again, thank you all uh, to all of our teachers, especially that are assembled, our educators who are assembled there this evening, the STEM Council and all the supporters of STEM education in the first state. Everything that you do to promote STEM is helping to create the next generation of Delaware researchers, doctors, engineers, nurses, and, and more. Uh, the future of our state. I think the future of our country is brighter because of your efforts. So good luck. Have a great evening. God bless you. Thank you so much.